May we please stand? I am the resurrection and the life, saith the Lord. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And though after death destroys this body, yet in my flesh shall I see God, whom I shall see for myself, and mine eyes shall behold, and not another. We brought nothing into this world, and it is certain that we can carry nothing out. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You may be seated. We will now have our first selection. comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for their kingdom is heaven. 
That's the reading of the Lord. Thank you. Let us pray. Eternal God, our Heavenly Father, the Lord of life, the conqueror of death, our help in every time of trouble. Father, we are gathered here today to lift up this family and these friends of Mr. Neville Victor Bailey. And Lord, we're asking for you to be with us. We ask you for your supernatural love and affection to just shower over this family and these friends. For the Bible says that you are the God of all comfort. Please comfort this family and these friends as only you can. Brother Neville is gone and we thank you for his life. And we know his memory will live on in the hearts and minds of this family and these friends. Lord, give to all who grieve this morning your grace that they may carry on. For in Jesus Christ you have given, given a new and living hope. We thank you that by dying he conquered death and by rising again he promises eternal life. And now Lord, we ask you to comfort and carry this family through these days and weeks, even months, however long the process of grief may take. Lord, we ask that you would continue to draw them together as they move through their sadness and grief. The Bible says weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And the songwriter wrote that earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. And now, Lord, be with us throughout the rest of this service. May we do all things pleasing in your sight. And we ask it all in the precious and wonderful name of Jesus Christ our Lord, and for his sake, amen. We'll now have another selection.
The program now calls for tributes. And as you see, it says two minutes, please. And we need to keep in mind that um, some cemeteries have strict rules about the time that you get there. And I have saw this happen many years ago where we got there late and the family had to wait. We don't want that uh, to happen. So we can only really take a few tributes this morning. Um, and you may come at this time. getting tired. God saw you getting tired, and a cure was not to be. So he put his arms around you and whispered, come to me. With tearful eyes, we watched you and saw you pass away. And although we loved you dearly, we could not make you stay. A golden heart stopped beating, hardworking hands at rest. God broke our hearts to prove, us, to, prove to us he only takes the best. what a sunrise is going to be. Let me go. When I came to the end of the road and the sun has set for me, I want to rise in a gloom filled room white, white cry for our souls set free. Miss me a little, but not for long, and not with your heads bowed low. Remember the love that once we shared. Miss me, but let me go. For this is a journey we all must take, and each must go alone. It's all part of the master plan, a set on the road to home. When you are lonely and sick at heart, go to the friends we know. Laugh at all the things we used to do. Miss me, but let me go. Rest in peace, Daddy. Thank God for today. Um, I'm never Bailey's sister-in-law. I remember when the first time he stepped in my sister life. But I, um, we just come from Jamaica. And I'm telling you, that man, we respect him. Because all of us was in the house. He's like, um, about the eight of us live in the house with him there, with the young girls and everything. And I remember when we shower in the bathroom and coming out with a towel and you know, not look appropriate. He said, girls, you girls go and get on some clothes, you know? And he respect us as sister-in-law so much. And you know, my sister and us, we lay in my sister bed even yesterday we were talking about it that everybody everybody we used to sometime the pop soup save us i run across the road to buy pop soup and drink it because my sister five of us like five of us come one time and we in my sister bed every day i talk about it we sit down we watch wrestling, she get us into the wrestling, and sometimes we sleep at my sister bed foot and never come. He didn't quarrel with us. He just come, take off his clothes, put on his pajama, and he go and lay down in the bed while we are there with my sister. So I respect him, but he was suffering. He was suffering. And God chose to take him at this time. God chose to take him. We don't know when we are going. We have young people who just dying from drugs, 
dying from drugs, he reached a certain age and he reached to acceptance because he was struggling back to die. But after he reached acceptance, after I reached to a stage where he make it right with God, he could just give up. He could just sleep home. How much of us, how much of us going to die like this? How much of us, none of us is an unknown. And we have to make it right with God. We have to make it right. See the earthquake the other day? It's a jerk up what going on in the world. And it's a jerk up and we take it lightly. But when God coming, he said he shall come like a thief in the night. And we all don't know, make it right with God. And this is my few word. I too have to make it right. Every day I say, God, if you take me home, I'm asking you let me see your glory. I give my spirit into your hand. And we all, please, I'm telling you, make it right with God today. Amen. Amen. Good morning, congregation. Uh, my name is Avis Plummer, and I've had the pleasure of, I'm gonna sound a bit offbeat, of dancing with Neville. And for those of you who know him or knew him well, you'll understand exactly what I mean. But first I wanna say to Isaac, on behalf of myself and the entire Montefiore crew, um, our condolences to you, the family, to Shauna. I haven't seen her in years. Um, when I think of Neville, I think with a smile. For our infamous Christmas parties, I'll wait to see them come in. Because I know other than my husband, Ronald, he'll be my dance partner. And boy, could he move his, boy, could he move. I see, I know your partner is taking a rest, but know that he's with you, because he's always there, I see, right? Pick you up, drop you off, do this dance, watch you dance, you watch him dance. And I'm going to emphasize on that because I, I believe he enjoyed life. And um, as I look around the room, I see um, testimonies to that, to family members, to Lynette, to Stan and his wife, and to many others. Um, you know, love is a strange thing, right? It's unconditional. And he loves you, I say, unconditionally. Okay? Um, know, know that it is well with his soul. So for the grandkids and for everyone, just think of granddad in that sense and dad in that sense. So, Neville, may his soul rest in peace, and may God be with you always. Thank you. Good morning, each and every one. Um, I see. How are you today? I know it's it's kind of hard, but you know. No worry, God is God is always here and God is always around and He's the one who make all the decisions, you know. So we are only, you know, in his presence. Anyway, Nebo we we'll call him Soji as my partner from from we like this. We go to school together, we do everything together. And it's kinda hard but God knows all things best, so I just have to carry on where he left off, you know, because he was a man of principle, 
they have so much good grace and things like that. So some of his goodness fall off on me. So I just have to continue where he left off. So I see, and the whole family, just be strong, all right? And just God, you got the glory, all right? Amen, amen. And now, Kiara will come uh, to read the obituary. Neville Victor Bailey, also known as Soldi, was born on November 26, 1949 in St. Elizabeth, Jamaica. He was the 10th child of 13 born to parents Lucille and Herbert Bailey. He spent his early childhood with his siblings and attended Carisburg Primary School. After leaving school, he joined the Jamaica Defense Force where he served for 11 years before migrating to the US where he earned a certificate in welding. Neville worked for the County of Westchester School Bus System until he retired. In late 2021, Neville and his wife, Icy, relocated to Melbourne, Florida. Over the last past year, Neville fell ill and was cared for in hospital home until he succumbed to his illness on March 29, 2024. Neville leaves behind to mourn his beloved wife, Isima, his children, Portia, Tabari, Kia, and Shauna, and a total of eight grandchildren. Richard, Alexis, Maverick, Kiara, Malik, McKayvon, Megan, and Mason, and his brothers and sisters and many friends. Thank you. Some choir members are here. I want to do a short version of I'll Fly Away. <laughs> Amen. <coughs> Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise Praise the Lord. Lord. Well, we are um, from the Mount Vernon New Testament Church of God. And we are here on behalf of our sister, Sister Monica, to, you know, be up the family in prayer and support. Okay? And um, she, be strong in the Lord. Mm. Trust the Lord. We are praying for you. God will give you strength as you go through this time of grief. And you all just know that God supports us when it seems like the way it's dark and dreary. He steps right in and he embraces us with his loving arms. Praise, God. Praise the Lord. Praise We've been Lord. doing some glad morning. Hallelujah. Some glad morning when this life is over. I fly away. In the morning. 
membership is all about. Helping one another, supporting one another. I'm doing a series of sermons on your presence matters to God, matters to the church, matters to others, and it matters to you. If anyone in here is not a member of a church, you need to pray about that and find a church where you think you can grow. Because they, you, friends show up at the showdown. And death is a showdown. I'm going to uh, not, I have to, if I'm asking the congregation to be short on their remarks, I have to be short on mine. I just got three points. Psalm 46 verse 1 says, God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. And, and when you're going through something, you need a refuge. You need a refuge of comfort. And only God can give you the comfort where you uh, can go on. God can, uh, because God can give you the peace. He can give you the contentment. He can give you the joy even when things are not going right. So that's the first point. Second point, God is our strength. We receive strength from our family, from our friends, even from our money. But the greatest strength that can meet the deepest need when death comes to snatch away a loved one is found only in the Lord. David said, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, because thou art with me. Not because I'm tough and I'm strong and I know all this, but because you are with me. That you can give me the comfort. You can give me what I need. No matter what my outside circumstances are. And so God can give you the strength this morning if you ask him. If you call on him. And my third point is God will help you. But first you've got to go through the door. And that door is Jesus Christ. He said I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except by me. And I'm only repeating what he said. If you want to argue with somebody, argue with him. I'm just telling you that he's the door to heaven. Not what you do and not what you don't do. But he's the door. When he was up there on that cross, there were two other men with him. They were called thieves. They were being crucified with him. And at first, both of them were giving him a fit talking about if you be the Messiah, get us down from here. And then one of them came to his senses and he said, you know, we ought not to be yelling at this man like that. He's innocent. And he looked at Jesus and said, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And did Jesus give him a list of things he had to do? You know, he had to fast, he had to pray, he had to give his tithes, he had to go to Bible study, he had to do all the things. And, and don't get me wrong, these things are fine. Yes. But the man couldn't do anything like that. Amen. But he could believe. And what did Jesus say? Today you will be with me in paradise. And so, and so let us always remember that God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in a time of trouble and 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 that you have to uh, go to him. You have to confide in him. You have to do it his way, not your way. The Bible says there's a way that seems right to a man, the end of which is death. You know, we're so smart, we know everything. No. What you need to know is a person. And that person is Jesus Christ. And so family, I'm praying for you. <laughs> I'm praying for you. I, I know he's able. He's able to, to, to uh, keep you from falling. He's able to let you know on the inside that it's going to be all right. He said in the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. In closing, one of my favorite hymns is, He's sweet I know. He's sweet I know. Storm clouds may rise. Strong winds may blow, but I'll tell the world wherever I go that I found a Savior, and he's sweet, I know. God bless you. Heaven smile upon you. 
We are now back into the hands of our director as we prepare to do the committal for Brother Neville. The committal reads as follows, for as much as it has pleased the almighty God in his wise providence to take out of this world unto himself the soul of our deceased brother, we therefore commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, right, blessed are the dead who, which die in the Lord from henceforth, yea, saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors, and their works do follow them. And now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, rest, rule, and abide with us all henceforth and forevermore. Amen. Amen. We'd like to thank um, <coughs> Reverend Coleman for officiating um, for Neville Bailey. Um, we will be going to White Plains Cemetery and Good morning. Can you hear me now better? I'm sorry. Okay, we will be going to White Plains Cemetery for the burial of Neville Victor Bailey. We'd like to thank Reverend Coleman for the kind words that he said about Mr. Bailey, as well as the, Mr. Um, Bryant, the organist. The family would like to thank everyone who took the time to share your thoughts and feelings and your time with them during a time of loss. Um, the family sincerely thanks everyone for their kindness and sympathy, and they appreciate it at this time. The repast will be at Wembley Athletic Club, which is 550 East 239th Street in the Bronx. It's on the back of the obituary if you need it. The McCall's Bronxwood Funeral Home would like to thank everyone who did allow us to entrust your family member during your time of sorrow. We also would like to give you our condolences once again and try your best to stay together with each other while we are here because we don't know when God will call us at home. Um, and this concludes the service. We will be, we have an appointment time at the cemetery, so can we please try to get there in a nice, calm fashion? Anyone who would like to go to the restroom, you may go before we go to the cemetery, if you like. They have um, stickers in the office if you need one to put in your window for traveling to the cemetery. Once again, we thank you. The address for the cemetery.
I thought they would have closed it. Are you carrying it too? Yeah. I 
Yes, look at this. 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 Look at Remind me of Rose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Oh, shit, drive. Mike drove. Well, drive go back up. Hmm? Drive back up. Oh, yeah. Drive go back up. Okay. Mm, bro. It's all right. Mm. Thank <laughs> you. 